Okay, hello, welcome to the second episode of Algebra 2 uh, Contents. Today, we're going to talk about solving combined inequalities, which means that inequalities containing the word and or the word or. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to solve uh, the inequality, we're going to graph its solutions, and then we're also going to state the solutions using um, interval notations uh, as you enter pre calc or calculus honors. I'm sorry, calculus. Um, interval notation is going to be a major uh, theme in, in, the, in, in that content area. Alright, so first of all, uh, this is a, uh, an, uh, two inequalities that is joined with the word and. We're going to start out by solving each inequality separately. So as you can see, isolate the t variable, subtract 7 to both sides, um, subtract 7 to both sides, 2t is bigger than or equal to uh, 5. I'm sorry, a 6, okay, divide both sides by 2, um, and if you divide both sides by 2, t is going to be greater than or equal to 3, right, so you finish with the first inequality, do the same thing to the second inequality, add 4 to both sides, okay, 5t less than 10, divide both sides by 5, t less than 2. Alright, here's a common mistake. Make sure you bring down the word and, otherwise it will be wrong. Sorry, that was my dad. So, um, so your solution is anything that's bigger than 3, bigger than or equal to 3, and less than or equal to 2. Alright, and so if you look carefully, anything that's bigger, bigger than or equal to 3 and less than 2. So let's see how the solution looks like. Okay, so graphically, um, when we graph the solutions, we look for the intersection. Uh, here it is uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay? So you go t bigger than or equal to 3. And so from now on, when we graph using interval notation, instead of using a solid uh, circle, we're going to use a bracket. So everything that's bigger than 3, okay, and then anything that's less than 2, okay, so here's our, our shade, there was less than 2, okay, like this, anything that's less than 2, and remember that when we're dealing with an N inequality, we look for the intersection of this two shaded region, if you look carefully, these two do not intersect. So this problem has no solution. All right. So look, it's hard to kind of see that this guy has no solution by looking at the inequality. But if you look at the uh, the the problem, the solution from a graphical perspective, you see that they don't intersect anywhere. So we say no solution. So the problem has no solution. All right. You're done. Okay. All right. So that's an N. But uh, let me give you another example of an an N. Uh. uh uh, inequalities or two inequalities that I join with the, the word n and uh, we'll, we'll try this problem again okay so um, one way to write in uh, two inequalities that are joined with the word n is the way how I wrote it earlier another way is to write it like this where you have uh, two inequalities together in the same uh, expression so like that. Okay, that's also an. Um, uh, these are two inequalities that are joined with the word and. It's just written in a condensed form. All right. So ideally, solve for k by removing the one and removing the negative two in front of the k. All right. And the way how we remove the one is we subtract one to both sides. Um, six less than negative two k less than 2. Okay, so I subtract 1 on both sides. I'm going to go ahead and divide both sides by negative 2. Remember, when you divide both sides by a negative number, flip your inequality. Right? So this becomes 3 greater than k greater than negative 1. All right? And so what we do now is we kind of flip things around so that it looks... Uh, 
so that's in its proper form. So if I flip things around, okay, that's my solution. Any k value that lies between negative one to three, satisfy that inequality. All right, so now we graph our solution. Draw yourself a number line. Uh, zero, negative one, one, two, three, four, and so on and so forth. Negative two and negative three, just to extend this. So uh, to graph this, we we know that the solution is uh, supposedly there's an open circle at negative one, but from now on, whenever you whenever the solution is open at a certain point, then you use a parentheses. It's also open at three, so use parentheses, and then shade everything between between negative one and three. That's the solution for that. And then using interval notation, which is something that I introduced uh, in the previous lesson, um, it is negative one and three. Okay. It looks like an order pair, but it's not an order pair. It's another way to demonstrate or to show the solution instead of using inequality. All right, so all those three means the same thing. We're gonna take a look at one problem that has uh, the, the word or, or in other words, we'll look at an inequality that's joined by the word or. Okay, right. so, um, number three, uh, here is an example of an inequality that's joined by the word or. Uh, 5x minus 9 is less than or equal to 6. Solve each inequality separately. Subtract 3 to both sides. Negative uh, 2 if you subtract 3 to both sides. Alright. Divide both sides by 2. X is bigger than negative 1. Okay. Do the same thing over here. Add 9 to both sides. 5x bigger than or equal to 15. Divide both sides by 5. X is less than or equal to 3. Common mistake is some people will not remember to bring down the, the word or. So make sure you bring that down. All right. So check this out. Anything that is bigger than negative 1 or less than or equal to three is a solution. Okay. Now it might be it might be a bit challenging to see the solution by looking at this inequality. So let's take a look at the solution from a graphical point of view. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and construct a number line. Okay. Uh, zero, one, two, three, four, negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four. Um, and we're going to go ahead and shade each one of these separately. So, x bigger than or equal, x bigger than negative 1. So, x bigger than 1. Okay. Um, x less than or equal to 3. So, here's 3. Okay, x less than or equal to 3. Alright. Uh, remember that um, as long as a value makes either one of these statements true, then the entire thing is true. And if you look carefully, um, it doesn't matter which value you pick, either one of these two statements is going to be true. For example, a thousand. Uh, a thousand is bigger than negative one, so the whole thing is true. Negative 20. Negative 20 uh, doesn't satisfy this, but it satisfies that. So it makes the whole thing true. See? So when, we deal with, when we're dealing with an or inequality, Wherever you shade, that is the solution. If you look carefully, everything is shaded on the number line. Therefore, your solution is all real numbers. Okay? So you rewrite the solution. Your solution or your answer is all real numbers. The way how we indicate all real numbers using interval notation is we go our solution starts, as you can see, everything is shaded, so it starts at negative infinity because that's the smallest number. Okay. And then it goes all the way to positive infinity because it's shaded everywhere over there. Okay. And so that's how you state this solution using interval notations. 
or it makes you analyze your inequality, see what your solution is, and so on and so forth. All right. So um, check out the next video where I will show you on how to uh, solve absolute values open sentence, which means that it includes equality and inequalities, and so on and so forth.